Hey guys welcome back to another reddit video. If you do enjoy this story don't forget to like and subscribe. Now to the story. Ida for telling my parents that either I move out or they do something about my brother. I, 25 m, live with my parents in a very expensive city. We stay in a three-bedroom high-rise. My mom recently decided she wanted to move to this city because she was tired of living in the country. I agreed to move with them because this city had many software engineering jobs. I was able to get a high-paying job and make six figures. My mom and dad are school teachers and their combined income is just under what I make. My brother and his wife had originally stayed in our old state but once she found out she was pregnant my mom and dad invited them to move in our house. I work from home sometimes and pay 75% if the bills and mortgage so the spare bedroom was my office. My brother and his wife showed up at my house which I didn't know about and demanded my room. My room has a walk-in closet and bathroom. I told them to take the office because it has an air mattress for guest. My parents told me to let them have my room. I reminded them how I pay most of the bills and I'll move out if they have my room. My mom yelled at me and told me I was a jerk, but my dad just told them to go to the spare room. I went into the office the next day but forgot my laptop so during lunch I came home and found my sister-in-law taking my stuff out of my room. Everyone else had left for work. I yelled at her and asked what hell was she doing. She screamed back that my mom said to do this. I grab all her stuff that she moved which wasn't a lot and threw it on the floor and told her I will kick her and my brother out of her stuff is in my room when I get back from work. My brother and mom blew up my phone when I was at work. My dad started a group chat and said that there will be a family meeting when everyone gets home. I stopped at the store to grab knob with a lock for my door. My parents' sister-in-law and brother was sitting on the couch when I got home. My brother tried to get in my face but I'm taller and bigger than he is so I just put my hand on his face and shoved him out of my way. I knew this infuriated him because he's older than me. My dad told me that I should just let them have the room. My sister-in-law smiled at me. I told them that I pay most of the bills and they are living under my room because my name is on the mortgage and if they want the bigger room they could either pay me rent or the four of them can move out. My dad tried to bargain with me but I told him that I'm not talking about this anymore and if I hear about it again, I will have everyone evicted. My sister-in-law started crying and I went to my room. My dad is treating me okay but everyone else is giving me the silent treatment. I thought everything was okay but the next night I came home from dinner. My mom made everyone but me a plate. She said until I give up my room and be a good son, she would not cook me dinner. My dad agreed with her. I pay for every grocery. I went into my room and printed eviction notices for my mom and dad. My brother and sister-in-law hadn't been there long enough to be considered squatters. I told my brother and sister-in-law they had an hour to pack and get out or I'll call the police. I told my parents they have 30 days or I'll take legal action. All our extended family stay in a different state and they don't have the money to support four people in this city. My mom begged and tried giving me her plate. But I said it wasn't about the food. My parents put my brother and sister-in-law in a hotel room for the night and my mom tried to apologize but I ignored her and went to my room. I'm writing this right now to see what I should do because I'm honestly confused Ida, 